Kevin, it was a 8-1 defeat. Um, positive signs, but disappointment at conceding the level of goals that we did as well. Aye, you know, I mean, to be fair, you know, the, the, the players have worked really hard. They've put in a good shift today. I think uh, they're playing against a, a really top quality side in Glasgow City. You know, they've got a lot of good players in the squad, the uh, internationals. They, they've won the league for the past 13 years. And uh, when you're coming up against that kind of quality and you give them half a chance, they're, they're going to take it. But our players made them, I felt our players made them work hard enough uh, through the game. Uh, but with them having that little bit more sharpness, a little bit more fitness in their tank, you know, that kind of told in the end. Do you think it's a sign of where you're at at the moment compared to City? Aye, you know, I mean, you know, they're at the top of the tree in Scottish football, and uh, our girls have, I'm, I'm, I think we're all really proud of them. They've, let's say, they've put in a really good effort against the top quality side, uh, they've scored a good goal, um, they created a couple, a couple other half chances, we had another good chance for a corner in the second half um, and yet to be fair in the second half our goalkeepers made some great saves as well uh, which kept us in the game at that stage as well so it, on the whole a, a good team performance um, which might sound a bit silly after an 8-1 defeat but when you look at again where we are compared to Glasgow City who are at the top between Scottish football I think um, there are a lot more positives that we can take at the game than anything else. Is there a disappointment in your view that you capitulated after Adrian McLaughlin put Glasgow City 2-1 up? I wouldn't say we capitulated. I, I mean, even though when they went 2-1 up, I thought we competed really well. Um, but then we had that mad, mad one-minute, two-minute spell just before half-time where we conceded two goals, uh, which made, puts a really different complexion on the game uh, when you're going into half-time. If we'd have managed to see you at that into half time, we're only 2 1 behind. You might be able to lift yourselves a bit more to go out and, and have a better second half. But, you know, like I say, you know, really proud of the, the effort that the players put in today. We had an idea how we wanted to play. On the whole, they've managed to do that, but those little half yards here and there, the quality of Glasgow City, they were just able to take advantage. And Dora Parts has got a great guys at one each. One each. I, you know, I mean, we've, we've worked on a couple of set pieces in that, and uh, that's our, our third goal for the season, so um, she, she's doing well for us. Uh, and she, let's say she nearly um, could have had a second in the second half when uh, she, she got on the end of that corner. Uh, great run, got on the end of it, good header, um, just went a bit wide. Perfect, thank you, Kevin.